Hello, I'm Dr. Rebecca Meacham, advisor to Sheep's Head Review, University of Wisconsin Green Bay's international student produced, undergraduate produced, full color, usually about 140 pages journal of the arts. And I'm here to tell you today um, about the Untitled Town Book and Author Festival, which really helped enlarge Sheep's Head Review's um, interaction with the city of Green Bay and with authors all over the world. In terms of our turning points, I'm calling this one Town, Gown and Beyond, Untitled Town Book and Author Festival 2017 to 2019. Untitled Town Book and Author Festival was UW, was not UW, excuse me, was a city of Green Bay uh, organization that formed in 2016 to bring a book and author festival to this uh, area. Um, I was on the founding member of the board and served on the board for four years. So these are when we had the, we had three festivals and then we were scheduled to have one in 2020 in April. And of course the pandemic made that impossible, but it's coming back. Um, each festival drew between 3,000 and 6,000 attendees to downtown Green Bay for 80 to 150 events for all ages and sort of all experience levels of writing and reading. Um, it took place in downtown Green Bay and there was one event that took place in the Widener Center in 2018. Um, that was an event for R.L. Stein, the author of Goosebumps and all that good stuff. Um, that was for school children and had about 1,700 school kids there. Um, authors like Margaret Atwood, R.L. Stein, Sherman Alexi, Dana Smith, Andrea Gibson, and many, many more um, were headliners and uh, ran all of these events. So this was a really useful and productive connection uh, for Sheep's Head Review to make, right? To be able to have a table or to have an event or to have a launch with this festival, because this festival took place in April of these years. And that coincided with when we would be launching the spring issue and those Rising Phoenix contests that we've been talking or that I've been talking about in other videos. So this is just a glimpse of the very first um, appearance that Sheep's had made at Untitled Town. This is in um, a particular location downtown where this was like the book fair that was being held for the festival. We had a big event. You can see up in the top, there's a Rising Phoenix winner reading her work. Um, another person reading her work from the journal and we sold merch and back issues and current issues and had a table and had the shirt and all this good stuff. At that time, what was pretty cool was um, we had the capacity to have some of these authors that were coming in for the festival to also serve as judges for the Rising Phoenix, which meant that Fortunately, because I was on the board and I had interns from UW Green Bay who worked both for Sheep's Head Review and for the festival, we all knew who was coming well in advance. And we were able to ask them, if you're coming to the festival, would you be a judge for this Rising Phoenix contest? And would you come to the reading and the launch of the journal so that we can have this nice connection? And sure enough, that worked out. You might also notice if you've seen some of the other videos of this series, um, there is one interesting thing about who is um, judging the nonfiction for this edition. And that is Lisa Faye Cootley judging the Rising Phoenix winner in 2017, actually was in that very first issue of Sheepshead Review and was our first poetry editor as well. She is, as uh, I've said before, now a professor of writing and poetry at the University of Nebraska, Omaha. In addition to having a launch or being able to meet judges and interact with all kinds of writers like Margaret Atwood and others from all over the world, um, having a place at the festival enabled Sheep said to make connections and resurrect connections between our campus and the writers over at St. Norbert College, uh, our Green Bay campus and the writers at East Norbert College, and then to invite all kinds of um, different people into our space and, to in and they would invite us into their spaces. This is at Tidaltown Brewery, if you're familiar with downtown Green Bay um, on the third floor, which was one of the festival venues. As you can see, we uh, again have all sorts of interesting, wonderful, incredible, diverse people coming in for the festival who are also able to judge um, our Rising Phoenix uh, submissions. And these are all by undergraduate students. So this is like a very unique and wonderful connection we were able to make. I'm making a slight digression here just to show you um, how great this issue looks. 
Um, in fall and spring, fall 2017 and spring 2018, we had Heather Schroeder, who's now, um, as of this video, earning her Master's of Fine Arts in Sculpture and I think Textiles in Mont University of Montana. She's incredible. And she was the designer for this issue and I'll show you a glimpse of the fall one as well. This is just a sample of what this issue looked like. It was exceptional. Um, every bit of it was something I'd never seen before. So just visually, again, kind of hearkening back to some advancements in design. Um, this is what Sheepsa was capable of from those very humble origins, capable of in 2017, 2018. This is, uh, she went with the sea motif for spring and her fall motif, her fall idea um, was woodland creatures. So this is what her fall issue looked like as well. You can also see that our launch party is taking place at Untitled Town, put our uh, authors and editors and writers and uh, other folks from Green Bay, including doting caregivers and spouses and, and supporters of all kinds, uh, right into the middle of downtown and attracted all sorts of different people who'd never heard of Sheepshead before, never had any idea who we were to our event. So we have uh, uh, two, if you are familiar with downtown Green Bay, um, we have two different bar and restaurant venues right here being represented two different years that you can see um, and people reading their work to incredibly different crowds and those rising phoenix judges as well the last uh live untitled town happened in april 2019 before the pandemic i do believe the festival is coming back in 2022 so stay tuned um but you can see again um how incredibly just the design is all first of all, but second, um, that we have yet another rising Phoenix um, issue. I want to say something about this issue in particular. Um, the cover on this you can't see, but if you could touch it, or you can't you can't tell, but if you could touch it, it's got a kind of emboss and layering of embossment that makes those flames, uh, the black is the cover and the white is the inside of that cover, makes that those flames sort of really jump off the page. Like there's a texture to it. It's pretty amazing. And again, yeah, writers that were coming in and did come to the party and also did events at the festival for their own self as well. And if you took a novel writing workshop in fall, 2020 you may have had Michael Morici as your professor and there he is judging the contest before that. All right that concludes that segment thank you for watching and I'll be back with more